your zone and able to uh, meet new members of your zone. And also for those of you that are uh, returning back uh, to your zones or to the zones that you have been serving uh, over the last year, over the last two years. So to the members of the zone that are out there embracing your new city pastor for the Central uh, Mission Sunday this morning, we are together with you to welcome and also to celebrate uh, the new uh, lap of another year in serving God together. So thank you. Amen. We had the rest of the last week and the central this week. And uh, it's just so, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, very inspiring just to see the leaders looking forward to go back to their zone uh, with a lot of ideas and very excited to see uh, how things uh, roll on. And even though 2023 is still a month away, but they are all geared up preparing from the month of December. So we stand today uh, to say thank you. We not have a clear way to make sure that we are not and if you want to clear in the same I can bring you to the top of the list. I love to and power in the world. I know you come back. We not have a clear way. We have a clear way to make sure that we are not in this place of worship. And thank you for all the preparation. We arrived quite late last night. Our flight was delayed again in Los Angeles, so we actually landed here at nearly 11 o'clock or after 10 last night. And uh, it's been a journey. And we just so excited because in anything that you do for God, He gives you the extra energy. Uh, he gives you the extra passion. And uh, you enjoy what you're doing regardless whether it's cold or hot, uh, whether it's a long walk or short walk. And uh, it's amazing. We were in LA airport for about good uh, six to seven hours uh, before we fly across. And even those hours went so fast. Um, just because you know you're together with your family and you can find a lot of things to enjoy together. Look, December is the month. The month, let me always say, you are always wrapping up. And be careful with your wrap up. Wrap up in the proper way. Wrap yes. up, get it ready to go to the level. Not closing up and then come January 2023, you're starting from the bottom again. No, wrap up on another level, jump to another level. Always higher uh, than the previous one. Believe that everybody is excited. Look, don't just say New Year resolution. And don't write your resolution because it's going to happen when you rely on you. You need to trust God because He's going to make it happen for you. And trust God with everything that you can now, uh, believing that He is the miracle working God. So on that, uh, you know, this morning we would like to also welcome uh, those of you in England. I know for New Zealand we have you quite as well and uh, different uh, churches outside Fiji. Uh, for Mission Sunday is only for the central, and I believe for all of you, you're all excited. Like what I said, December is the, is the month, eh? Then we're always like uh, closing down, break up, and parties and everything. Amen. And sometimes we miss God, and we leave God on the shelf, we leave God on the side, and after we finish December, and then you look for God again to grab you, uh, to take you for the year for 2023. Don't be that Christian, and don't be that believer. Amen. Take Jesus with you in your good times, in your low times, in your hard times, in your lack times, in your plenty times, in your no money time, in your big money time. So whatever type of life that you're in, embrace the fact that you Jesus, He's the God of everything, God of your low moments, God of your happiness, a God of your family, and the God of our nation. And I believe for each of you being giving up for the election, uh, everybody's uh, getting ready for the 14th of December. Well, we're here right in America. Look, it's your duty. It's your duty as a citizen uh, of your nation, your Fiji, to vote first and second. It's our responsibility as a Christian. We don't just pray and allow things to happen. You pray and you do something. Because praying, doing, then with your faith, it happens. You can just not pray on the side, but you don't do anything about it. You need to do something about it. And pray to God about it. And commit to God. So New Methodist, you're tuning in this morning. Uh, don't be taken up with whatever that you hear. Don't be enticed with what you see. You seek God and allow God to guide your hand, guide your teeth, guide your heart. Because you're standing in the gap for your nation. Believers and Christians are tuning in from Fiji. We have a responsibility for our nation. We too have a responsibility for our nation. Don't just sit back and get roped up with everything that is happening. You hear a lot of things going on in the campaigns. Don't be part of that. You know your God. You still sit still before your God. You go to your prayer place. You go to your hiding place. You go to that, you know, you dwell and, and in your sanctuary and commit to the Lord and tell your God, I love my nation. I love my Fiji. And you 
you are the God of my nation, but to lead you and direct you. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Now don't be guided by what you see, don't be guided by what you hear. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. Because you believe us, we are responsible for our nation. Our prayers avail us much. Your thinking, your decision, you need to be guided by the Holy Spirit because He is the author and the faith. And I believe that we are going to be standing in the gap. So New Methodist, our fasting has been going and we'll be breaking on the 14th to say thank you for fasting for your nation. Okay. And thank you for standing in the gap for your nation. And, and thank you for believing and trusting in God uh, for your nation. Every morning or the morning now that I train the celebrity to say, Lord, this is your country, this is your nation. When you allow us to come and be in the residence of this nation, you created, you created the whole universe from nothing to what it is. And Fiji is part of that. And we are coming in agreement with you that you will allow only what you can do because you are the author and the finisher of your faith. Hear the cries of your people. Sound check, sound check, 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 sound check. So that I can stand and pray for my nation. And I believe we all love our nation. So stand in the gap and pray for your country. Don't just sit there and talk about everything that is happening. I don't like talking about everything that is happening. There's a lot of things happening. And sometimes in the midst of it all, and I'll tell you, okay, let's not talk about these things. Let's just stand in the gap for our nation. Stand in the gap for your nation. Because your God is trusting you. He needs you to rise up. He needs you to kneel down and pray. He needs you to fast. So believers, let's get roped up. Let's stand on our own and pray and commit our nation to, to our God, the great of the universe. In Jeremiah 32, 27, he said, He is, I am God of all mankind. He is the great of all the universe. What can he not do? So on that note, New Methodist, remember, a few days more left uh, before the election on the 14th. Let us continue to commit to God the nation that we love, the nation that he has given, the nation that he has blessed us with, the land, the seas, and any every inhabitant, the blessing that he has provided to your family, your ancestors, and your ancestors to come. Everything that you have been enjoying, that's given. Let us come before the Lord and pray and pray and pray for our nation. So that's what you have to listen. Thank you for fasting. And also to the skills of students, I think uh, now a few of you left. All you few subjects for next week and this time today to say thank you uh, for all that you've done, the papers you've done. You cannot look back and correct. Yeah. All you need to do is commit it to the Lord. Tell God, I did my papers. Some of the things I know, some I just don't know. Some I forget, some I remember. Oh, I did the papers. I really love them. Commit it to God. Because now, I just not you to, to change those papers, but God can do. So commit it to Him. And all the best to those of you still having your papers to come. And step in faith because your God is going to be with your mantra, with your examiner, and everything is going to come. So you step and say, Lord, I receive your favor and breakthrough. I receive your miracle. Even the marks, even the papers that I've written, I don't feel thank you for all the hard work over the year and thank you for everything that you have done. Uh, and it's been great support uh, in training you and helping you to be who you are and where you are at today. Well, before I went to Selebu, welcome again. And I would like to welcome my little family. Uh, all the yeah. Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah. I know you're listening this morning. And uh, welcome. And I know some of you we didn't have a proper goodbye. It's like uh, all the phone never is calling. Okay, I, I couldn't uh, wake you up because you're sleeping and didn't say goodbye. And uh, we will, I would like to say thank you. Uh, and I know you're there. Uh, thank you, Kayla. Uh, for uh, I know you get to the point, but you slept right through. So I would like to uh, welcome the little family. Sammy, uh, Joshua, Carlos, thank you for the papers done. Few left, only one left. Uh, thank you, Daniel, came back all the way from the Western Division. Uh, thank you, Israel, and also to the little family. Not to Sarah. So uh, miss our family. Look, look around your family, hug them. Journey is only once. Life, you only live in once. Once you go past, there's no way for you to backtrack and restore what you have lost. And today, and uh, we welcome you uh, to the shows in uh, America. And we believe we are waiting on the powerful word of God that you're going to be sharing with us this morning. We thank God. Amen.
Mwa mbula tibani ana kwa kwa mana nyadha tonda ngauna. Hallelujah. I think we are four hours ahead. Uh, Ike ya one day behind. It'll uh, take us to our Bible reading today, our Bible study, perilous time. Nangona nindre nre kenda duro matiko. Um, au nda beto ngai kia ureda tiko mai na na kaya bolai tu na pena go. I I believe before we go to our Bible study, I want to speak on the on this. Eh? Hallelujah. We can do not matter what we do. We can do not Jesus, my God, Jesus, I can do it. Do a rua tolu wa lima ono vitu wa ludi wa chini chini kan doa kena chini karua my all my everything. Eh? Yeah, na kaya kaya we can do na na non dibola tamu de Jesus, my everything. Jesus, my God, Jesus, my King, my Lord, Jesus, my Savior. Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my refuge. Jesus is my provider. Amen. Jesus is my strength. Jesus is my defender. Jesus is my protector. Jesus is my, my peace. And Jesus is my everything. Amen. If only we can take that into our life. Sarangay hindi na kina na mari ka chini karua, rosahul ka diwa ginatulis sa kabulu. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Kendi nango, eh? Kendi nango. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, Amen. all of your soul, all of your mind, with all of your strength. No muko ko to dok. Abo ni mulo sa to kina gori. Amen. So we can do it sa bulu. Bosar ngani mulo sa to kina gori. So we can do on sa bulu. Bosar ngani mulo sa to gori. If Jesus is your God, if Jesus is your King, your Lord, your Savior, if Jesus is your healer, your refuge, your provider. Kendi nango, Hallelujah. And I'm challenged when I sat there and I was looking at this, the proclamation that Jesus come because of all this and even more. This is what we can write down. Ona kai kile teni kina o Jesus darungara mati kuma. Kana ndo ni buku ke makando sangaraya ume makando garati kuna silivo na silini na kola. If you seek me as though you seek silver and gold and the hidden treasure of this world, then you will realize the fear of the Lord. Kenda na kila nambula ni rere waka na kalu ke waka he is our God. He is our Lord, our King, our Savior. Kortuna, kortuna tolu rutu tukwitha kengo, those are authority. If only you know that Jesus is your God, if only you know that Jesus is your King, he is a ruler, he is a supreme, Dominion over and Jesus my Lord. Okay, nunggu turang. Sengah walang ani nunggu kalau, sengah walang ani nunggu tui, nunggu turang katalaga. Nunggu kalau, nunggu tui, nunggu turang katalaga. Amen. Kembali nabi sauta kanam bulan ini nanda rungkara bi kalau. We are not going to church because it's a day of worship. We are not going to church because we belong to a denomination. No, we go to church because He's our God, He's our King, and He's our Lord. Nunggu kalau, nunggu tui, nunggu turang talaga. Nim, nimbera ni gay talo nak main nak kata lo nak kaya. Eron kita kau bikin dah. Mau nak nak posisi ni. Hallelujah. When I'm driving, when I'm eating, when I'm sleeping, when I'm renting, or when I'm working, when I'm running, or when I'm flying, when I'm resting. Ortung ortu on tu ngabi all the time. CCTV are only off. CCTV are only blur. CCTV are only that. You can go anywhere you want. So when we understand my God, my King, and my Lord, then it will change the the way that we worship God. Oh, Hallelujah! I praise God for this banner, so wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. Our Bible, our Bible study today, power in the word today. Hallelujah. Our nakere kongo merani matonga ya la mendarani rento. I think that's Hallelujah. Get twist tangana to sanga me bango. The perilous time, you know, this time we are complaining, we are talking about a lot of things. But Paul already wrote to, to Timothy, second letter on the chapter 3, 
The Bible says, but know this, that in the last days, perilous time will come. Grande na lagomai. Natangi na lagomai. Winakata sana. Amen. Paul is writing this to prepare us in the midst of the storm. You will be different. You cannot stop what is coming at the moment. You cannot stop it. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but you know, in the last days, perilous time will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemy. Lima sartunga. Lima sartunga naka kaya tukoy kaya nang matay mandang ani lima. I was tukoy magbida o kila I was tukoy magbatol ng the Bible study. Hallelujah. The trouble time. I was tukoy naman sa uti. I was speaking on last week all the way back in Fiji, but now in Santa Rosa in the state of California. Praise the Lord. I was talking about perilous time last week. Perilous time. Say with me, perilous time. Perilous time. Yan ang unang nindren, nren ang unang nitangin, ang unang nirarawa, ang unang nipagan nini baki. Hallelujah. A lot of things that you'll face, but be rest assured that God already promised that. He said, perilous time that will come. We already spoke about that. Amen. The Bible says, then the time, the trouble times. Hallelujah. For men will be lovers of themselves. Go on a selfish time. Number one, trouble time. Number two, selfish time. Amen. What other selfish that is written here? For men will be lovers of themselves. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will be lovers of themselves. You will spend time, you will spend money on you. Selfish. You are very selfish. Hallelujah. People will do things because they just love themselves. Amen. And the Bible says, the most important command is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. But Paul is warning us and telling us, no, hallelujah. The time will come, the trouble is on the horizon. Number two, and people will be lovers of themselves. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. The reason why we speak against somebody, because we don't love them. The reason why we bicker and slander. The reason why we finger pointing. Because we don't want anybody to come near us. That is the lovers of themselves. Amen. And Paul is saying that. If we can go to the next page. Uh, tal -tal Hallelujah. We already talk about that. Prelious time. Trouble time. Can you go on a selfish time? Trouble time. Like the days of Noah. And people were lovers of themselves. Jesus said, remember the days of Noah. Kana, Munu, Marau, we must use the Kinabawati. Hallelujah. Kana, Songo, 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 and Kana. Kana, Kana, Kana. Amen. 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 Jesus said, Remember the days of Noah. That means Jesus knew that he was in those days. Amen. Because Jesus was, before he was born in Bethlehem, not in December 25th, no. When he was born in, born in Bethlehem around about July and September, that was the real month that he was born into the world. It was not written in the Bible because it is not important for God the date, the day. It's important to God our spirit birth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The trouble time, days of Noah. Remember the Lord's wife. When you go to the Dead Sea today, you still see the pillar of salt. That was Lot's wife. It's still there today. If you go to the Dead Sea, it's still there. That means Jesus was also there. Because he's the Alpha, he's Omega. The seven who's, the troubled times, shutting the kingdom of God. Church leaders are shutting the kingdom of God. They preach a lot of things, but they don't talk about the reality, the spirit of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. They, they, they 
encourage the people to come to church for the physical things. But they are not talking about the kingdom of God. They are closing, they are setting the kingdom of God. And uh, this is all revision from last week. And can we just move up a little bit again? Be on watch because no one to deceive you. A lot of people will deceive you. Hallelujah. People will come and say, we can do this, we can do this. I can do this, I can do this. Nobody can do anything unless God approves. Oh, Hallelujah. I was telling Taltala Gassimi and, and the Taltalas last night when we were sharing. If only the, the campaigning that is happening in Fiji today, if, if the strength, the power, the enthusiasm is like that when we talk about Jesus, oh, miracle signs and wonders will happen in the 14 provinces. Hallelujah. Be on watch. No one deceives you. Because men will come in my name. Hallelujah. There will be a lot of Taltala. There will be a lot of people in positions. There will be a lot of politicians. There will be a lot of people. They come and they say this. They say that. And Jesus already said, Be careful. Hallelujah. Without Jesus, there is no truth. I'm sorry to say, but that's the reality. If I talk about Jesus, then there is a truth coming from my mouth. The moment I tell a no in any other topic, there is some elements of lies will come from my mouth. Until and unless we talk about Jesus. We talk about Jesus. We talk about Jesus. We talk about Jesus. Kami kena lebol tamu leh ruang asal leh tolu er tu bukan dah buat nenek aku buat cikgu kita ni saat itu ngaki nabi nindi na enak tanggung tak kita nindi na nak kaya tak kaya nindi na entar nindi 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 na oh boleh tak ni tanggung tak kita guna bukan nindi na hallelujah if anything that is without Jesus there is an element of lies. I was sitting here, I got to go to White House, I said I got to go to Buckingham Palace, I said I got to go to Billy Utahso. Without God. There is elements of lies. Because he said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. When we talk about life, we talk about ways, and we talk about the truth, it's all about Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will go to number two this morning. Also, hallelujah. The selfish time that will come. No men, for men will be lovers of themselves. Amen. Lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemies. Hallelujah. These are the five things that in that Bible verse that we went through. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 3. The Bible says, For men, if you are men, we are talking about human beings, we are talking about mankind. As long as you are men, there is an element of lies. Hallelujah. And as long as you are men, there is an element of loving you. Me, myself, and I all the time. Me, myself, and I all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, for men, for men. Nina Tamata, eran do lomani ranga bagatagira. Eran lomana na ilabo. Eran do kanto kara gadi gadiya. Eran gay musa bagadada takana kalu. The reason why we want to remove God from our nation, from our country, from our meeting, from our village, because we want to be recognized as men. But Jesus is our God, our King, and our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Lovers of themselves means, self-love means having a high regard for yourself. Kubuni soso dalam long makina, dalam sana indah pun yang belum bulu, gele kina gele. Ada apa ya? Naya ngau yang suka tali kina gele. Asui yang baca masel abi biko, gele kina gele. Dapat tali. Nuku kina nuku, dapat tali. Soso kina soso. From the dust you came, the dust you go. The sangka mereka itu kini kena sangdu nak. Hei meni, tokari nak kena isulu, tokari nak kena uku uku. How many? Self-love self means having a heart for your own well-being and happiness. Nobody can bring happiness and peace to yourself unless and until we have 
my peace, my joy. Without Jesus, you will never have peace. Forget about joy. Hallelujah. Without Jesus, you cannot have peace, you cannot have joy. Forget about somebody protecting you. Forget about somebody defending you. Hallelujah. If only the church can preach the real message to us. The real message. So we wake up. Self love means taking care of your own needs. Not sacrificing your own being to please others. Self love means not settling for less than you deserve. I deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve this. Hallelujah. Gekabi kena wala tamu na lolo ma wosi windo ni ndo na tamata suli na nambula ena bukuna na wekana. Praise the Lord. Okay, let us move a little bit up. Love us some money. Ando na kano ndalo mana na ilavo. Amen. Kake denga ilavo. Paisa, maliko, silini, sende. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Aun do bakasa mata kan aun ortu se do visi ko kina na mata ni dorbo kutra abi na katilet sini karua ile ono ngana dorbo ortu ba yo back in 2005 we announced at the state yet back in nambua lebu tuna yuzu mai suba lebu tuna yuzu mai nandi hallelujah ngandre bele sini karua le sini karua me do to dur mi biti an me da kana bi balo tak ga ile ono ngala ko mai na ngau na ortu dur ba likina han do na kana bosa ni tamata Bila kamu doli tak ada kami anga. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ni tak tu na anggi tu irara. Tak tu na boli bola. Kena bi mata gali sini tu eh sini tu bosa. Rawabu kita ke terda ke payder sabu. Hallelujah. People roaming around the street of Suba Lautoka. Can you think? When somebody put on the tie and sulu baga tanga and the Bible in the hand said knock on doors. Oh sabu aku tinggal nanti na. You should people go and go to school or go and plant something. But most of these young people, they were brought from the village smoking marijuana, giving headaches to their parents every single day of their life. Amen. And the gospel changed them. Amen. Hallelujah. Lovers of money. But when somebody, eh, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to Ramatumali na kabom na checkpoint na tech may lepononi. Kala bundo ay lebundo do kinong nibiti na peacekeeping ramatiki na may lepononi. Sir ngon nga ni recruit si na yon dala na buha. Hemani. Yan ni tukod ni mendo ay lekota ni tukod na kasi nga. Hallelujah. Sa parit ka tukod weekend na ni nandi na tukod ngani bola tam. Labo sa money. Hallelujah. As the proverb said in Proverbs chapter 4, eh? the Bible says, If you seek me as though you seek silver and gold and the hidden treasure of this world, then you realize the fear of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, because I'm talking to you, 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 I'm talking to you. Tuna, oh lele bora lakso boy. Ebi tuna ya wana nreba. Tuna sema polis tabulu tu. Ebi ya walu bi tuna ya wana nreba. Tuna sanzi na. Oh, wiki mami gori. Hallelujah. Inonda poli lo tetul sumu ngana mini tinda lako kina. Dambera mandangan da sin lako. Bi tuna ya wana walu na. Walu na ya wana nda lako. Labo is of yourself. Praise the Lord. Labo is of money. Da lako eni kina. Poli tekitul tu kina na roti mai biti. Praise the Lord. Oh, bukan sama tak mata ini nero lagu mai betul kiran di ni lagu mai Amerika. Hallelujah. Kerong lagu mai Sacramento. Nono tu bisuret di na Assembly of God. Konferensi apa kerong lagu mai? Tu dah sana Assembly sekarang. Hemen. Suka mai nello tu. Sarah dambe tu itu bukan nama ramah. Boleh tak lihat tu? Oh tu saya bukan turang tu. Oh gas semi. Bukan turang tu. Turang ni nak kelo. Nada bukan tu no. Gori nara roti. Woi. Eh tapi wara kita nak tel ni bukan. Saya nak gori boleh tak kita go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saribin ang nakal. Ena la, ena mata 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 ng amay lang ilang i sa bolita ng akin na nakari. Praise the Lord. Mata mata may lang ilang i bangarik kina nambula. Nagdagdag ng mana na na nona bibo ka ruta kina kalu. Na office niyo may TV. Toko bolita ng ayon na mosque mo may turak. Lagoy niki na bangarubuka. 
Amen. You'll see a lot of people back there sitting there. I believe they they believe in the people going inside the mosque that they'll have the heart to give. Okay, because someone's gonna look together with Christo, you don't see a beggar inside the church. Because the beggars know and the muri and the tawir and the kawin do mira mukina one and the mukina vera. Amen. On the kid in the mosque and Baba Rumbu Kore the Sinai, Kurina the beggar situma. Manab. Era kila kura lago tsigilo maya era era tu era rivo ki mai era sulema indona wandola era sulema indona sanga moli o sabore de non tu bolino tu emeni emeni eh ni ni tu office mai tu ra ke to kan esa ni se ni mosque le mai tu ra ki sinai mo lago ani na tsini ka rua lago ani na ndua lago ani na rua sinai tu ituba randa be tu ka ora maram esa le bu ni bu esa na ndua e bo le ka tana tsupili dura se ngolo ka mauri da they worship in the They care because they know the people that they go and worship in their mosque. They have that. They don't come to your churches because they know they be taken. You people don't have the heart. Amen. Amen. You book is a big one. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm doing a standby to knock in and doing a roar of chito rituba. Now, what could you do? Could I make it again? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do tell you, boasters, excessively proud and self satisfied, talk about one's achievement, possession, or abilities. His online boast, uh, boasting led police straight to his doorstep. Amen. Garona, go and do an example. Yes, I do on Facebook. Praise the Lord. Do I be online? Online do. Now that we be talking to God, where are we? Amen. Can we go to some where are we? In Osalo Mojiko. Sin dona kai rawa, sin dona kai sambo chivitaki. Amen. Konge lago ni kuburu muru kule kai tiko where are we? Kitu nda kamo go, kitu nda kamo go, tuda kamo go. Lago ni nda vale, do tonga. Hallelujah. Mundo sarabo kwa kalatia. Ogwe sukaika. Praise the Lord. How many? We'll do this, we'll do this. They promise this, they promise this. Hallelujah. Boasters. How many? Praise the Lord. Not a little feeling deep pleasure and satisfaction as a result of own achievement, qualities, possession, and those someone with. Hallelujah. Not a little too, 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 Ke sengan ini dulu tiko kini nak cisu kamu kamu na, ya sah sah lantas serangan main na nak kita kiri ko. Sengan ini dah ni ko tu kuna nak kau rawata, boleh ti cisu ko kau rawata kena. Sengan ini dah nak musa rawata nak kau langgori, ya boleh ti cisu ko rawata kena. Sengan ini dah sah mai tarra na vale, boleh ti cisu sah tarra rau kena vale. Nau nasi kau kena cisu, aku rendi ke, rendi ke, rendi ke, rendi ke. Cik kau ngaku cisu sih, that's a different of proud and boasters without Jesus included. Kotuna, ningaune, aurus, aurida kina, this, this bena, e hita kia umbalte salabatu tiko kina leso ni umoro. When you put Jesus in everything, it changes. This money that I earn because of Jesus. Kento tui Amerika, na isa uko maitoro tiko Amerika, na numa, o chisu uka pagabuna. So whenever you talk about anything, Jesus must be part of your achievement. That means you are putting in front Jesus that he is the source of your resources. Don't talk about the resource. Talk about the source because the source gives you the resources. The moment you remove Jesus, then you become boasters. But the moment you, receive, you remove Jesus, you become too proud. Hallelujah. Aumai indar na sigele te bula bula, mbele ti chisu. Eu rawa tango, mbele ti chisu. Au salai rawa ngo, mbele ti chisu. Salai rawa na degree, au sanduwa ngo na masters, au sanduwa kama tingu ngo na PhD, mbele ti chisu. E rimumu taka ngo, e kota mai na humble. Hallelujah. Emeni, ke nduwa na kamenda, domo lebu taka, if anything for us to be vocal with, we vocal about God. We vocal about Jesus. Praise the Lord. God is good. And it's a challenge. To me it's a challenge. Challenge to us. As a, a believer. Challenge me. When you see the stickers of every party. Driving on the road. A lot of cars. Yeah, midnight tonight. Midnight tonight. 
me remove taki tau doko na ka tau doko me mbaleta na tukuni au ko au tau doko me sure tau doko gra and then a blackout time 48 hours before wednesday so from midnight sunday to monday right up to midnight on wednesday sate wo kina bidding ni hallelujah hallelujah au sando un rebotu sa rida na bena thangi na bango bena thangi na bango tuna ndore se kerolo tsi kina batiki talga se mori o talga se iso o tuna me vatu mandanga ya jesus is lord jesus is my king jesus na moto kanda ndore botaka na vale nda tiko kina ver ver mbuya tiko kina na stika na posters amen haleluya to sa ketale amen ke ni katolu ungrateful time hallelujah mataini lima na baba hallelujah selfish time karoni lima na baba ungrateful we like my coca ndom ndam ruwa tolu for men will be disobedient to their parents na batale unthankful na batale unholy na batale unloving na batale unforgiving hallelujah Dona singo wili ke tuna tribolo na na rota muge wo tuna biao wo so wo se agori matai na tai na tai tel previous time trouble times ke ni matai ni lima selfish times ke ni karuni lima gongo ungrateful the reason we don't obey our parents because we are ungrateful the reason why we don't obey or respect or tesa or honor those in authority because we are ungrateful yes. hallelujah all these things because we are ungrateful Amen. when you are ungrateful you will disobey those that parents you in anything parents you in your family your parents parents you in school your teachers Amen. i remember one time i came to the mother's the mother city then uh, i saw one of our very uh well known teacher in Ratuskuna Memorial School and if i say his name a lot of uh, ex Ratuskuna they will remember him because he's not a uh he's not an easy teacher he's very rough and he's teach with uh, he'll punch you he'll kick you his name is Mr Master Amani Radule and i believe there will be ring ears uh, ring sound to the ears of those that are disobedient in school in those days i saw him and he looked at me as in bula saka i came to him he is a bula binaka atu e yo ni bula saka kem ni re bula bula he was out on a bit of bula lima hoy ni re bula bula adur sa mo ko itu mo sa mo ko tiao no mo ko tiao sa tiga bu bakila na sa kurinya no no mama keu keu tu na usara batiko na my tv hallelujah sa dona ka na ka e lautia uniko na uvuga itabi otona e se ni reserma na mbawe ni ke mu ivadu na no mu de dange na dominika tumbaleka ko sa ka ko sa mai tukina go on dola bonu mbawe si na ilabo ke de tuna no mbawe si o ke sule bi ko alelo tuna i'm really blessed to see one of my student me excel otona no it was the teaching from those days in Ratuskuna Memorial School. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lebunangona niko people are disobey from their parents. The Bible says, children obey your parents in the Lord. Na bunongo boke ndo mista kitiko. Obey your parents in the Lord. Hallelujah. Obey your parents in the Lord in the things of God. Don't obey your parents in other things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ndio ba ko tobio ndona clip ndona tal tal e uno tiko. Tuna tiko bango na tal tal ngo. Na kake de tuko na tamangu kitina mo ba gadora. La ko tuko na na via tolu tonga na miniti. Na kaza banga e kaba. Ai bia o. Sang in the Lord. Wada boke ke mateni tiko ke kanta boko tiko iko sakaba ngana kai tuko na tamam ke tina pola in the lord children obey your parents in the lord in the things of god the things that are godly ke tuko na mole muta ko sanga ta sanga au na muria ke dengo au na sin muria ke baga tuno ka go mix ka na umburu go 
Sanga. Hallelujah. Because we are teaching them the real thing that are not in the Lord. Oh, pick the name of the remain the game of the new life to go. The Roman and Leo Kabaka and Munu to go to Mamu said, The Kabatuka is ever in the Kai Sinibaka, the Lomanikalo, then this Bible verse does not apply to you. Only apply to you because of love, respect, and honor, obedience to the thing. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Lemon on the Sambim Bimbal in the River Tico, a son of Casa Capitico Takina, as a Sidiba Calutico. Hallelujah. That's why they run away because of this. So there's, there's two edged sword that comes here disobeying to their parents. But parents, but to kill any little four, five, and six, so warning to tell Nakin and the parents weekend. This is a little song for the verse four, verse five, verse six. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But Children that you are listening today, or those of us that we call children to our organization, in our workplace, in the church, in the Banua, there are people that are parenting us. We must honor them in the Lord. Because this is the first commandment with the promise. Hallelujah. Don't tell unthankful. Say with me, unthankful. Hallelujah. Something or someone that is morally corrupt. Hallelujah. Unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Praise the name of Jesus. Unthankful. 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 May vale or tuna, dorbo or tuna, barro chuma or tuna or tuna cat. And Bernie or two to the key, Mertuli Sabaton or to Anicana. Thank you for the food. May I leave the table, please? Con a man a reason bongo, as in Babuli, the Nongo. There's no better that is handed out to the young people. That's why the weekend of Barro to my break to Mandeca, 30th of December, 31st of December, 1st and 2nd of January. There'll be a lot of teaching on this mannerism. Human behavior, godly behavior. HQ. The discretion fellowship, there is a youth symposium with games, they are tailor made to suit our people, and I believe you will be blessed. Back to Santa Rosa, hallelujah! <laughs> Praise the Lord! I'm thankful. Hallelujah! Na bosu mandanga bita batakina weekenda na ndo ah ndo la ko bagale bu batakiao amen baka bini na gabira na otinda ni sengo ira kenda kenda na taltala eh ba bini na bagale bu na kaira they put our families together they put uh, our children together they put the administration together without that we cannot do our work to be 100% Kembali kemen dan doa kami minaka. Sehingga jika kami minaka tu kanu mula kaya ni, kami minaka tak publicly so people will know that our achievement, that what we do, was uh, the result of somebody behind you. Praise the Lord. Bukit Bukit kau tukar sabu kami kau. Thank you for being here. Hallelujah. Bina kau boleh bunuh mutiak rawai ke? Sangat lama ini unholy. There is something that is uh, really challenging our life today. Unholy. We are so men pleasing, we are forgetting the holiness and the standard of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We must be careful that we are not just pleasing men or pleasing the community and we are turning away from God's word. Something or someone that is morally corrupt, that is unholy. Morally corrupt. Hallelujah. Our rights. Go, go, go. 
we are forgetting what is morally correct. Because what is morally correct cannot be wrong. And what is morally wrong cannot be right. Sinrawa. Hallelujah. And what is our standard? Our standard is the word of God. Why the word of God is our standard? Because the word of God is alive, powerful, sharp than any double-edged sword. Amen. Unloving. Unloving. But love your enemies. Oh, hallelujah. Do you know that Jesus is the only God in the universe that says love your enemies? Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus is the only God that tells his follower, love your, love your enemy as you love yourself. There is no other God that talks about loving your family. Amen. Most of the God, they'll tell you, eliminate your enemies. Kill your enemies. Some religious book they have in their book, kill your enemy. Remove, nullify your enemies. That's why they want to gain control whenever they come to a nation. They always want to gain control. Why? It is in their book. It is the word of their God to eliminate their enemies. And their enemies is anybody that does not worship their God. But Jesus said, love your enemies as you love yourself. Pray over your enemies and pray those that bicker you and slander you. The only God, hallelujah, that's my God. The only God that talks about love is Jesus. The only God that talks about loving your enemy is Jesus. The only God that talks about loving your neighbor is Jesus. Hallelujah. And I challenge everyone that you are watching this program on a Sunday morning in Fiji. Jesus is the only God that tells his followers love your enemies. Feed them and pray over them. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. And the last one, unforgiving. The men of these days will be very unforgiving. Hallelujah. Unforgiving, not willing to forgive or excuse people's fault or wrongdoings. Amen. When your, when your love for God go grow cold, you will not forgive those that wrong against you. Peter and John came to Jesus and said, how many times that our brothers, they, they wrong to us to forgive them? How many times? Seven times they asked that question, they answered them. Seven times. Jesus turned to them and said, I did not say seven times. I'm saying to you seven times. 70 times 7. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we pray over our nation, before we pray over uh, the word that we hear this morning, I want to challenge every one of us that we are tuning in, power in the word. Hallelujah. Power in the word all the way from Santa Rosa this uh, Saturday afternoon and to you in Fiji on Sunday morning. Those of you in other parts of the world, whatever time that you are receiving this teaching, hallelujah. Remember, the ungrateful generation. Amen. Ungrateful. Are you grateful? You wake up this morning, you are not in ICU, you are not in a cell block of a prison, you are not somewhere there in a mortuary, then you are here. And you are watching from home, you are watching from Lambasa, you are watching from Samsamu, you're watching from uh, Lotoka. Hallelujah. I want to challenge your life. Let us come before the Lord in prayer this wonderful morning. Lord, we commit our nation to you. As we go through the Bible study this morning, we thank you, Father God, for your love. We thank you, Father God, for your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your preparation. We thank you, Father God, for your provision. And we thank you, Father God, for your protection. As we commit the word that we share this morning with power and authority, we thank you for the God that will be a source of blessing to the people out there. Thank you for the God for the sharpness, the power, the life, the miracle, the health and the wealth in your word. We thank you for the God for this morning. We also remember our nation, Fiji. 
Thank you, Father God, that we are preparing for the general election. We thank you, Father God, as we commit from the south to the north, from the east to the west. We thank you, Father God, for those voters that they will go to the polling station. We thank you, Father God, for our nation. As we commit to you, in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, we commit our nation to you. Thank you, Father God, for the rest of the program that we are here in Santa Rosa, live on Facebook and also on television. We thank you, Father God, for your power, for your glory, and for your majesty. Return to you in everything that we share, in everything that we say, in everything that we do. Must be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' wonderful name that we pray and everyone say, Amen and Amen. Duri watakiau, hallelujah. And a single bina gani kuwa, hallelujah. We can danga barong ti mai, kati go 10.30, sa matale mai, i Santa Rosa. Duri we can danga i tal tal i sere, da paka bina gani kuwa, hallelujah.